Mark Benito from WP Academy here. And what we're going to do is we're going to use the WP Clone plugin to move this website uh, to another website. In this case, we're going to move it to local server hosting. But you could move it to, any, to another host, to another domain, to a subdirectory of a domain. You could use this to create uh, development and testing copies of your websites, which is what we're going to do today. So let's get into the dashboard of this site. And I've already installed WP Clone. So let's click through. And uh, welcome to WP Clone. We're just going to create backup. This may take a few minutes. Fine. Backup is now successful. So copy URL and we're going to move to the other website. Here is our destination site. It is a fresh WordPress install running on local server hosting. In this case I'm using Microsoft Web Matrix web server also known as Microsoft Web Platform Installer. And Let's get into the dashboard here and we're going to install WP Clone plugin. Now, this, the destination site um, for WP Clone plugin, you're going to have to use an existing WordPress installation. And then when you're there, you install and activate WP Clone. You go to the WP Clone dashboard and you simply choose you restore from URL and paste in the backup URL that we got in the first step. Control V here. I'm going to agree to the terms and conditions. It basically says you're on your own, buddy, and restore from URL here. Restore successful. Visit your restored site here. And you know, you are going to want to um, go through your links, make sure everything's working, um, double check your images and um, your design. It may be necessary to resave your permalink structure here. You are going to need to log in again. To your site to check your permalinks and you know set set them to the regular to the usual format which is month and name. And that should fix any any broken links that you might have. Good so good luck.